Welcome to today's Grow It Green. We're at Rolling Green Nurseries in Greenland. I'm joined by Mary Tebow Davis of UNH Cooperative Extension. Mary, here we are, early spring. And if you've been watching these programs for a while, you know I'm all about low maintenance. Mm -hmm. I found out there's no such thing as no maintenance. Exactly, there is no no maintenance. <laughs> but anyway, we're in this garden and it doesn't look too bad, even though it hasn't been cleaned up yet. Exactly, that's, that's the gift of low maintenance landscapes, is there's not much you have to do. If you take a look around, this has a lot of evergreens in it. Uh, this is a pieris, this is a shrub. We have some small trees, some small spruce. We have a volunteer hydrangea that has been pruned. That was pruned earlier this year, but that's all that's been done so far. Okay, so first of all, I imagine like most things in gardening, it begins down on the ground. It right? sure does. So in this garden, what do we have an example of here as far as that so goes? So with low maintenance, you really want layers. And we start right at the soil layer. And you can see this is a really well-established landscape. It's got beautiful soil, lots of organic matter. And right next to it, you can see all the ground cover. We also have more perennials coming in, but it's the ground covers and perennials that will hold that soil in place and stop weeds from coming up. Okay, because uh, as much as we like gardening and being out, we're not really all that fond of weeding. Right? Yeah. So yeah. from the next layer then, uh, is you're building upon those You're building uh, upon covers? them, exactly. I guess the last thing I want to point out is that we don't have a lot of bark mulch here. Instead, we have the plants, so, and plants are the best mulch. So then we come up to these nice woody shrubs. Again, these are pieris. Um, having evergreens in your landscape helps with habitat um, for birds and critters. Um, also, too, in the back, we have an old tree that came down um, in a microburst. And landscapes do change over time, but having wood in your landscape like that tree or these chunks of wood that are left over from um, yeah, the I, winter, yeah. it really helps hold the water. And you can see the little bit of fungus on that on the tree there. Is that sign of health or disease that, or That's ex doing exactly what it's doing. It's breaking down that stem. All that water, all that organic matter is going to go right into the soil, just like these sticks. Instead of throwing them in a pile, I'm going to just tuck them under these shrubs here where they can't be seen and they'll break down over time and it's really good uh, right. also for amphibians and okay. uh, reptiles and all that. All right, so again, there's no such thing as no maintenance, but low maintenance, at least if you're like Mary and myself, definitely the way to yeah, go. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> That's it for today's Grow It Green.